Hello neighbors, welcome to your week two milestone. Congratulations once again. You know, I told you I'll be going on this journey with you. Yes, it's going to take a lot of work on my part. Well, I got you. Okay, so let's get right into it. This is my niece's profile. This girl is playing with me. Though, <laughs> see this girl, average 0.0%. I'm calling her after this. Though I am making this video on a Monday, let me give her grace. <laughs> okay, so like this video so it can reach a wider audience and make sure to share this link to your friends and families. I will be helping you with your projects. Every Thursday, you should expect a video from me. So don't hold this information, share it with your friends and families. Now, let's go through your activities for this week. The first activity is using the prioritization metrics. This is the template. This is more personal though and it's not part of your milestone for this week i just want to go through it all right because it's an activity you have to do okay, so the first thing you need to do here is basically list the tasks you want to do for next week and then arrange them according to their priorities the ones that are important and the ones that are not important so that's just it's about the prioritization metrics let's just go straight to the milestone of this week week two milestone skills tracking and pair coaching there's a trick i want to share with you in this video but i'm still thinking about it okay so let's start with the skill mapping before we come to the pair to pair coaching okay so you click on step two click on the skills tracker and here we have the instructions so open the link to assess the skills map i will click on that now struggles. okay here we are all you need to do is to click on make a copy I'm using my system for this so you should use your system all right it's the easiest way to get the stacks done you can use your phone but it's very stressful so avoid all of that just use a system all right so now we've made a copy for divine I'm sure she's going to make her own copy this is just for this tutorial I'm going to call her <laughs> okay so you can rename this I always rename it to my name so the name of my niece is divine so I'm going to use divine underscore va program so now this is how this works okay these are your soft skills these are your technical skills these are your tech skills and here you have list of skills you want to grow or develop all right so what they're asking you to do here is basically to rate your skills the existing skills you have and the ones you're going to acquire during this training okay so let's say I currently have a growth mindset I can rate this all you need to do is just to bring a cursor here and click on five that changes from three to five all right and it will change the color will change as well as you can see here one is is this pink <laughs> two is peach uh, three is yellow four is what color is this <laughs> five is green <laughs> okay so once you click on five five is the highest it will change to green communication if you know your communication skill is top notch you can do five here as well if you know you're still working on your communication skills you can do three if you know you have poor communication skills you can do one during the training if you know that your communication skill is improving you can come back here and key in maybe four or five if you're so confident in yourself okay <laughs> all right so same goes for organization oops what just happened organization confidentiality time management prioritization self-awareness just click five greet and that's it for the soft skill all right remember if you have if you have any questions at all concerning what i'm doing just leave them in the comment section and you know me i will definitely get back to you i reply to all of my comments you can go back and check <laughs> i have a proven track record on this i don't ignore any of your messages all right any of your comments okay so let's talk basic technical skills same thing goes if you have existing skill on managing a client's inbox you can do five if you have existing skill on managing a client's calendar you can do five you can do four rate yourself here concerning this if you watch my calendar management video you have an existing skill about managing a client's calendar yes because if you managed your calendar properly if you did what i asked you to do in that video you can give yourself let's say you don't want to brag you can give yourself three all right but the most important thing about this skill rating is that you are sincere to yourself you don't know how to do internet research and you're giving yourself five don't lie to yourself you will not grow yes that's not how you grow be sincere with yourself it's not like you have a pass or fail mark on this 
be sincere with yourself all right okay so same goes with travel research if you have existing skill or you don't know what that means but you will <laughs> in week four <laughs> i can't wait to do week four no i can wait actually week four is going to traumatize me again I'm going to do it i promised all right so travel research and booking we have no idea what that means data entry maybe a two do same for others um do same <laughs> Do same for others until you have all of this field. Okay, now let's move on to tech tools. Gmail. Gmail is more than just composing and sending messages. There is more to Gmail. Okay, but if you know you are a pro on using Gmail, you can give yourself five on this. If you don't, three is fine. <laughs> all right, same goes for Google Meet, Google Sheet. Google Drive, Google Form, ChatGPT, Calendly, Canva, TripIt, Expensify, Slack. For me, I didn't know what Doodle was. <laughs> so here I had one. <laughs> I didn't know what Fireflies was. So here I had one. All right. Um, what else? I didn't know what Motion was. So here I had one. So as I said earlier, be sincere with yourself. I didn't tell myself, well, let me just Google it and add five. No, I didn't do that. All right. Okay. So let's move on to the next one, which is the list of skills you want to grow or develop. So here I had uh, motion, right? I wrote motion and then I wrote down my growth plan. I don't think there was any more do about motion. I can't recall but I had to research that about myself and I also wrote here that I was going to do my personal research and learn about the tools I am not familiar with yes so you do that here let's say you want to improve your emotional intelligence okay you add that here emotional intelligence I am going to apply for an online course on emotional intelligence on Coursera or Udemy I took mine on Udemy a long time ago so you get my point yes that's how this works so that's it for the skills map now let's go back to the savannah for the pair-to-pair -pair coaching so basically here you go to the community get a pair from the community right here you can just come here put your title pair to pair coaching hello everyone i need a pair for this week milestone and hope that somebody responds to you <laughs> i'm going to share my own trick with you i did mine myself i was my pair but it's important to get someone anyways to help you bond i didn't have time as you know i have a lot of things i'm doing and i had to get this out of the way okay so the questions for the calls are here you don't need to say anything outside of the script you can click here to get the script okay so once you are done the next step is reflection so you click here to create a new document let me do that now because i want to show you how to submit this as you can see here copy and paste the below questions a to h and then under each question type your answer to that question so all you need to do is to copy here i am going to teach you my technique now all right but don't tell anyone okay don't tell anyone get a pair <laughs> allow them get a pair don't tell anybody here is our list of questions how did i do mine the full name of the pair you had the call with i did this her name my friend's name i use my friend's name mercy eater so this is what i did i went to the community tab i went to the community and then i saw someone with i think itoru or mercy either of the names so i just added the let's say i saw it yeah i just added mercy to her and then i moved on with it all right so for the b you choose the date and the time that it took place the modality i used whatsapp <laughs> did you feel any anxiety before or during the call i said no because i was well prepared for the call how valuable was the section with the with your pair how you answer that you explain did you make any commitment to your pair i did i said yes because it was the person's second call <laughs> it was the person's second coaching call i made my commitment by giving her my full attention i can't even recall what i said <laughs> but that's it did you find anything surprising or gain any new insight I said yes and then I explained how helpful did you find the core overall I explained that okay so let's say we're done filling this up okay now let's move on to the next step which is to submit first thing you need to submit is your pair to pair coaching reflection before we submit we need to access our Google Drive so let me do that now let me access our Google Drive I told you this is my niece's account Google Drive 
Oh God, I don't have to sign into this, do I? I don't think so. So now you've opened your Google Drive. This is the reflection. Okay, this is your skills map. So to submit these documents, all you need to do is come here to these three dots. You click on it. You click on share. All right, click on share again. Wait for it. Please be fast now. My laptop is about to off. Currently, it's unrestricted. You change it from restricted to anyone with the link. All right, you copy it click on done and then you go back to your savannah and you paste it here click on this little box done no 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 sorry please make sure you click on save first <laughs> click on save first before you click on done okay you do the same thing for your skill map you go back to your google drive click on the three dots click on share share again Change this from restricted to anyone with the link. Copy the link. Go back to your Savannah and paste the link. Click on save. I'm not clicking on save because this is not my profile. Click on save. Click on done. Make sure to click on done, please. I created a group for VAs. So if you're here to join the group, I'm going to pin the link in the comments and it will also be in the description. Click on it. You can either join the WhatsApp group or the Telegram group. That's how you complete your week two milestone. Let me know in the comment section if this video was helpful to you. And if it was, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, share this link to your friends and families. And also let me know in the comment section if you have any questions at all. I'm here to answer them. Thank you so much for watching and good luck. Bye neighbor.